When Dr. Anzi Capon and her husband Murray first came to Manning for a site visit, the local attraction and retention committee was well prepared. They already knew that the South African couple loved outdoor recreation. They knew that Murray was an exercise physiologist. And they knew that it was just as important to make the area seem appealing to Murray as it was to Dr. Capon. And one of the things we always looked at is like, okay, what's the practice side, like the medical side for ANSI, but what are the options for me? Because if I'm not happy, then ANSI is not going to be happy and we're not going to last in terms of, you know, sitting out the contract. Well, Dr. Capon was touring the, the health facility, the clinic and the hospital. Some local people took her husband and showed, them, showed him around the community, took him up to West Fraser Mill, let him actually operate some of the heavy equipment, got on a quad, and I said, oh, let's go for a quad ride. And also then came back for the evening and joined his, his wife for the barbecue and, and actually had a very good time. And some very good people made friendships right off the bat. And I, I think that all went a long ways to having them make the decision to choose our community. And the town really went out of their way to say, okay, this is what I can do when I'm here. So I won't just be sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. Murray and Anzi both grew up in small farming communities in South Africa. We love this, the small town feel, um, and that's what appealed to us, is that, that sense of community. When the Capons moved to Manning, the Manning Attraction and Retention Committee was there to ease the transition. There's a lot of things on your plate when you come from an international destination to uh, northern Alberta, and we just wanted to make that transition as easy as possible, so we helped them with uh, some of the basic things that people might not even think about, like housing and banking. And the county has a physician's house, which is what we're currently renting. So they, they really made it easy for us to focus on being able to integrate ourselves into the community and not have to worry about purchasing a house, furnishing a house, getting all our stuff here, all that type of thing. It was really nice in that they gave us the opportunity to, here it is, settle, you know, find your feet, make friends. If we hadn't had that, it would put a lot of stress on us and we might not have integrated as well. Shortly after Murray arrived, he was hired by the local sawmill to do physical assessments as part of their pre-employment program. Not long after, the town of Manning advised him that the person who managed the town's gym was retiring. Murray applied and got the job. Both Murray and Anzi are outgoing and that really helped with the transition into the community. We're a Christian family, so one of the big things was, is there a church here that's going to support us that we can fit into? And we found a really, really nice church. And then I also made a point of trying to get involved in the community. So I went and volunteered at the um, fire department as a way to kind of meet people in the community and then also get to know the community. Because when you go out on a call or uh, at events or you know public service and things like that, you get lots and lots of exposure to people that I wouldn't necessarily meet just going to the shops and things like that. Local farmer brought Murray on to help him with the harvest, let him drive uh, a big John Deere combine which he was totally impressed with and he's been back there for the last two harvest seasons. The opportunity to achieve a healthy work-life balance in Manning was another reason the Capons chose to come here. In Cape Town, South Africa, the Capons worked long hours and rarely saw each other. That work-life balance is balanced now. It's really, really nice. There's not as much stress. We get to see each other so much more. Um, we get to have quality time together, get to spend weekends together. So within five minutes, we can be out in the woods. We have lots of recreation opportunities. Both of us enjoy being active. So we ride bikes, we stand up paddleboard. We love walking and hiking and things like that. And there is a lot to do here. Murray offers these words of advice to others who live abroad but are contemplating making a move to rural Alberta. So I think one of the big things in terms of finding a good fit is the fact that yes, it might be difficult in the beginning, it's a different culture, um, different food, everything is different. You drive on the wrong side of the road here, you know, the car, I keep climbing into the passenger side when I want to go and drive. But once you get through the difficulties and kind of put yourself out there, there is a wealth of opportunity and a wealth of good friendships that can be found.